Hi YouTube and hi everyone. This is your Kim Master. Thanks for forever following my channel. And please stay tuned with my channel to get more videos on chemistry. Thank you. And now we are going for probe. This question appeared in Gate 2017. The question is for ortho hydrogen the nuclear wave function and rotational quantum number respectively are so we have the four options a anti-symmetric and even b symmetric and odd c symmetric and even and d anti-symmetric and odd so which is the correct answer for the given problem right so first thing hydrogen molecule occurs in two isomeric forms okay so in that one is ortho hydrogen and another one is para hydrogen okay okay i'm going to show ortho hydrogen and para hydrogen in their diagrammatic way so first okay So this is one hydrogen and this is another hydrogen. These two are connected by covalent bond. Okay, right. So if you consider this hydrogen has spin, so that is it has plus half and another hydrogen has a spin, so that is having plus of so these two are same side means these two spins two spins of hydrogen molecule or aligned parallel okay so when two spins of hydrogen molecules are aligned parallel then that isomer is simply called as ortho hydrogen okay now nuclear spin so here nuclear spin that is i so here total nuclear spin i equals to so we have plus of and plus of so when we should add plus of plus plus of so equals to 1 the total nuclear spin of uh, ortho hydrogen is 1 so if you apply 2i plus 1 so you can get 3 so that means what it is triplet in state okay right now consider para hydrogen para hydrogen okay yes
okay so in para hydrogen one hydrogen that is one proton uh, exists uh, its spin state that it has plus of and an another one has minus of okay right so from this we can say the definition for the para hydrogen as if the two spins of hydrogen molecule exist anti parallel to each other then that isomer of hydrogen molecule is called as para hydrogen okay all right so the total nuclear spin total nuclear spin that is i equals to for para hydrogen is plus of plus minus of equals to 0 right so from this by applying 2i plus 1 equals to 20 plus 1 equals to 1 so this means it is in singlet state so ardo hydrogen ardo hydrogen exists in triplet state and para hydrogen exist in singlet state okay now consider our problem so we should find uh, nuclear wave function psi and uh, rotational quantum number J for R two hydrogen. Okay. Wave function. So nuclear wave function psi. Now. so we have two isomeric forms at psi is equal to 0 what happens if we rotate this molecule One eighty degrees. We get same molecule same isomeric structure. There will be no change because these two spin states are aligned parallel. That means so here we have. symmetry okay so c to symmetry is possible for this so from this we can say ortho hydrogen ortho hydrogen has symmetric wave function nuclear wave function okay now rotational constant 
or rotational quantum number. J. So we know that in rotational spectrum, J has the values 0, plus or minus 1. Okay, so from this, if you consider at J is equal to 0, At z is equal to 0, the product of spins should be 0. The product of spins of isomer should be 0. So, to have it, 1 hydrogen of the isomer should have plus of and another hydrogen should have minus of ok so we know that this anti parallel spin arrangement of hydrogen molecule is simply considered as para right ok now, at j is equal to 1, the product of Spin, spins of uh, isomer should be 1 ok so to get it one hydrogen one proton of uh, hydrogen molecule should have plus of and another hydrogen should have plus of then only it should be 1 and that uh, that equals j should be 1 the equals to 1 so so this kind of arrangement of uh, spins which are parallel to each other this isomer of hydrogen molecule is considered as ortho hydrogen okay so from this data the J should be 1 that means add for ortho hydrogen so from the from the explanation we can conclude that ortho hydrogen has nuclear wave function psi has symmetry and uh, j qu rotational quantum number as odd or is add or odd number so from this we can give the option b as the correct answer for the given problem if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and like the videos thank you